So, the All-Star Games coming to town, Mr. O'Neill. All-Stars, baseball, things that I don't care about. But the thing that I do care about <laughs> yeah. is that Together Washington is hosting a community cleanup on June 23rd at T-Mobile Park. I think that this is great because I come from a version of conservatism where when there is a, 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 a the, the human beings, a community, can do things more effectively than government can. That's generally my, my thought or my thesis on, on a society, that collectively, when a community comes together and they say, we want this park to be clean or whatever it is, that they can do it better. Did you ever hear about this case in Canada, Spike, where this guy, there was this park in Canada, and it had a particularly steep slope on it. That The incline was not good. It wasn't good for people walking their dogs or people with their kids or whatever. It is. Okay. So this guy uh, that lived near the park, he got together with his neighbors. He was a carpenter. And uh, they said, uh, they went to the city and they said, we want to we want a set of stairs here. We want to put a, a nice set of stairs so that people walk up and down. City so says, all right, well, we'll do an assessment. They do an assessment. They say it's going to ca- cost us half a million dollars. It's going to take two years. I mean, it was this absurd thing. Right, right. right. So this guy says, you know what? I'm going to get my buddies together on a Saturday, and we're going to build it. He knocked it out. It cost him like five grand. Uh, in, so in, in, in Canadian money, that's a million and a half dollars. But uh, <laughs> it, it didn't cost him any money. And he, it was it was up to standard. It was up to code, right? Because okay. the guy's a carpenter. Okay. Yeah. So he, it's got the foundation, the poles. It's, it's You know, the whole thing is was nice, basically. He did it in a weekend. Right. The city comes on a Monday, and they go, oh, no, you can't have that. We didn't get any of the permits. You didn't do any of that. We did an easement study, an environmental right. impact study. You We're going to get sued into oblivion. And yeah, worms. seriously. And so, the, so they tore it out. They tore it You're out. You're kidding me. Dead serious, man. And he was actually sued by the city as well for that behavior. So I come from, I I suppose, a a philosophic place where people getting together, cleaning stuff up is a a good thing, right? That that if the city isn't going to do it, then that's fine. But apparently this is causing some controversy because there are people out there who are saying, well, why doesn't government do this? We wouldn't, this wouldn't need to be done had government not taken care of it already. But the bizarre thing about this is that we know that in many cases, in many instances, government can be inept in certain things that they do. For instance, keeping streets clean. Yep. <laughs> keeping very, graffiti off the walls. <laughs> whatever very hard. It might be. Yeah. Very yeah. hard for government to do. Yeah. I, I like this idea of old school communities who say we want to do something about it and we're going to organize and we're going to do something about it. And isn't that so great? I can't stand cynicism. And so when I see people being cynical about it and and kind of poo-pooing this and saying, well, you know, this wouldn't have happened if we didn't blah, blah, blah. It's like, okay, so we know it's bad. We know that people who are in positions of power cannot handle that responsibility. And so these paragovernmental organizations do it. And they make it happen because people make it happen. Communities make it happen. And volunteers make it happen. Th- that is a fundamentally good thing. It is good for people. It is good for a community. And it is good for a society. I won't stand, Mr. O'Neill, for people who are cynical or want to just throw it away or, or use it as a talking point to try to convince people that the system is bad. Yeah. We know it's bad. That's why people volunteer <laughs> to fix it. And when you use it, and this is what's crazy, people in media take the story and they use it to make other people outraged. And they use it for their outrage machine that they sell people and then say, oh, by the way, remember to subscribe to my podcast or subscribe or buy a membership or whatever it is for my thing. And they do nothing. And then together, Seattle says, let's do something about it. And those people go, those losers. Hey, buy my mug and feel better about yourself. (laughs) It is like, (laughs) it is Mm, like. Libtard tears. Right. So So good in the morning. Mm. This is the definition of conservatism. The very definition of it. You mean mean do it yourself. Do it yourself as a community with the people in your community. Forget government. And then all my conservative friends are like, those losers. (laughs) Don't we pay people to do that? No, those people take money from us and then we make it happen. And so it's just I can't I can't get on board with that level of cynicism. I can't get on board with that level of of disregard 
for people who care about their community. You know, like when, you remember when Gene Ursula went out and they did that thing where they were cleaning up graffiti? What was that last year, I think? They yeah, were, I think so. They, yeah. And they took the pictures with the people and they're wearing the t shirts. That's so sweet. That's what people should do. That, <laughs> right? That, yeah, that you know, I hear you. That's what we should do. You, you ever, uh, you ever yeah. get and clean up uh, highway trash with a crew? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah I have. Oh, that's yeah. volunteerism. You ever walk on a trail in the woods in the, in the great Northwest? A regular basis. Those trails yeah, yeah, are maintained yeah. by volunteers. Right, yeah. Who get out yeah, there and yeah. clear brush and set stairs and the right. whole nine yards. Volunteerism. I mean, it's what America is pretty much most proud of. The fact that right. we can do it ourselves. We don't need anybody's help. I will say, if you want to be cynical about the fact that there are people who are paid to do this and you want to be upset about that, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, I yeah, but well, I Well, they can it. take those resources and do things that I don't want to do, like human feces on the sidewalk. I don't want to sure. do that. <laughs> Let them use their money to do that, and I'll go to pick up in some garbage or whatnot. Is, is there any benefit to pointing out what, how we got here? I mean, because well, I, 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 I've, I've read the pieces like the None. ones you're describing. Yeah, you know, yeah, hey, remember, yeah. we're only here because we elected these people who think that this is that and that is those and these are them. Right? Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. There, is there any benefit to doing that? None. It, it okay. is it is literally just off gassing. It's just it's just let me be mad about another thing. Let me be irritated. Let me be cynical. Let me be negative about another thing. And uh, the, that's where the, the money is. And, mm. right, well, and not only is it financially uh, advantageous for people to do that, it also just feels good. Because you get to be, you get to be, basically what yeah. you're doing is, is you're doing a Tom Sawyer. Remember that scene in um, Tom Sawyer where he gets everybody else to paint the fence? Paint the fence, sure. So much fun. <laughs> so, so much what fun. You, what, what you're basically doing is you are, you're basically saying like, uh, I get to be the person who complains and I get to be the person who, who, who it, fires it, it, everybody else up to complain uh, 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 and I start uh, a little fire, anger crew. Yeah. Uh, I'm above everybody else. I'm removed from this. I don't have to engage in this. And it's just like, I like people. I don't care what side of the political argument they are on who go out and they make it happen. I like that action. Call me crazy. I'm kind of a William F. Buckley esque figure in the way that I think about these things. I like people who say, I'm going to do it because I can do it and because I'm proud to do it because I'm proud of my city and I want to see things change. Or, or what you could do is you could be the, the, basically the equivalent of, uh, I don't know, like a, like a curmudgeon who it just feels really entitled to complaining because complaining just feels so good. The right? guys from like the balcony at the Muppet show. <laughs> right, those two? <laughs> right, it just like feels so good just to complain <laughs> and why. And blah, blah, blah. But the, the real dirt on your hands, dirt on your clothes, that's based. That's yep, the yep. way that we make it happen. Uh, my, my concern a little bit for Together Washington is hosting this event. It's on the 23rd of the month. Right. Down T-Mobile Park. My concern is a little bit. I mean, I'm glad they're doing this. I'm with you about the volunteerism aspect of right, what we're right. doing. I'm worried that the folks that they're they're going to be interacting with. I hope there are official folks on site. Because yeah, if I, I show up as, as well. a volunteer trying to tell somebody you can't squat here anymore, there could be issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a whole nother battle. No, I hear, I hear. I'm hoping that Together Washington has the adequate supervision and authority to do what needs to be done here.